Hi everyone, my name is Laura. I'm a professional photographer and creative director. And today I'm gonna to explain you how to take creative self-portraits. But I'm gonna explain you the technical side of it, the step-by-step, -step, the equipment you need. And even if you don't have it, I'm gonna tell you alternatives. But at least I'm gonna show you how I do it personally. You have another video as well, I did time ago, where I explained the process to take those portraits into creative ones. So I explained you everything you have to follow to be able to do that. But today we're gonna do the technical side. So I'm gonna start to explain how I do it. The first thing you need is a tripod. You don't need to have it, so you can use anything in your house, like furniture, books, the sofa. You can put the camera everywhere, but be careful to don't smash it. But you can use a tripod. They're quite cheap, some of them. So if you cannot afford like expensive one, just buy like a travel tripod. I do have a link in the description below. And it's quite cheap. It's like 60 pounds, nothing more than that. And it's gonna make your life easier. So you have to locate the tripod first. Now you have the tripod located. So then what I do is put it right in front where I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna be shooting here. So then you just put the camera on top. This is the camera. Um, what I use, and it's not too expensive neither, you're gonna have the link in the description below as well, is a tether cable. What a tether cable is gonna do, when you plug it to the, to the camera and then you plug it to the computer, where I'm at, I have the computer next to me, so every single time I take a picture, I see how it is in the computer and I know if I had to correct the light, if I had to correct my pose. So it's quite helpful. This I didn't have it till one year ago, more or less. So you don't need it, but you have the budget. This is gonna help you a lot. So once the tether cable is in the camera, the next thing I plug is the trigger to be able to shoot with the remote control. They are quite cheap. They are around 30 pounds, something like that. So it's worth the money, believe me, because I used to shoot with a timer and it was a nightmare. So now I have these little ones. This I plug it in the camera and this I have in my hand while I'm shooting. So this one you connect it to the camera. It acts as a receptor. And then you switch it on. So I'm shooting today with the 5D Mark IV and a 24 105 millimeters I have. I use it a lot for portraits. I prefer to use prime lenses, but because I want to put some examples to you about how to shoot portraits, I really want to show you different focal range. So once everything is set up, the next thing I do is go to my computer and open a double light room and initiate a tether capture. So now that everything is ready, I'm gonna show you another kind of angle so you can see how I use my light, the light I use, how I pose, and the things I take into account when I'm taking the portraits. The next thing I'm gonna do, guys, is to locate the key light. I normally work with just one. You can use many and you can try more stuff with different lighting, but with one light, you can create amazing self-portraits. This one is quite achievable as well. It's just a continuous light. And it's very, very cheap. It's under 200 pounds. Normally, I like dramatic, shots so what i mean with this is whatever you're gonna locate the light is gonna change the field completely i normally like to put it on one side or 45 degrees for women i recommend you to use 45 because when it's just one side is way too dramatic it can look super cool as well but you can try both anyway so i'm gonna just put this light better i normally locate it next to the camera so it's very, very close, just enough so it doesn't show in the frame. And I will put it 45 degrees, a bit taller than me, so you get the cat light on the eyes as well, and that looks very nice. So once the light is where I want to place it, what I do is with the remote control on my hand, I keep trying and trying and trying till I'm happy with the lighting. I don't start shooting the shoot I want till I have everything ready. So many people do the mistake of start the photo shoot with the props or with the makeup they want to do and then the lighting is not good. So then you are wasting a lot of time. So first, get the settings ready, and whenever you are happy with the lighting, the settings, and the focus, you will start to shoot the final project. So in this case, the pictures are being too light. I want to create more drama. So to create this, I'm gonna put more depth of fill, which is gonna make the picture darker. So I'm gonna have to be closer to the key light, and the background is gonna be darker. You will see an example now. And that is a bit 
closer to what I want. I always prefer to take the best picture on the camera so then you don't have to push the picture too much in post-production. So we're gonna go again to the settings and we're gonna change. I don't know if you can notice here actually in the camera and see it. You can see this circle visually through the camera but I cannot see it in the computer which means I need to put the light more pointing towards the backdrop or closer to the backdrop. I normally like it because it makes the portrait more interesting. So let's change a bit the light and put it more towards the wall, a bit closer. Now I'm gonna shoot closer to the backdrop and you're gonna see the difference. Yeah, you can notice there, that I love. This one is definitely the light I want to use. I use it a lot for portraits for artists and I use it with self-portraits. I think it's very moody and it still is not super, super dark. That circle you find in the background is something I really love when I do artistic portraits. Or. So that's the way to get it. Be closer to the backdrop or put your subject closer to the backdrop and then the light quite close to the backdrop too. So it illuminates that circle around you and I think it's very great. So the next step is to have an idea in mind. I do so this in a video I should before, but I'm gonna tell you again, think about props, outfits, makeup, everything. So in this case, I'm not gonna go too crazy about creativity because otherwise the video would be too long. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint my lips in red and I have a babe, I just bought for the pictures to be honest because I don't smoke and I don't babe. But the babe is gonna create nice shots with smoke. So what I'm gonna do is paint my lips, Take the babe and start shooting and I will see you now. So this is the babe I'm gonna use and I just painted my lips in red and we're gonna start to shoot. Okay, so for this one, for example, you have to take the pose and you have to correct in the pose. In this one, I tend to put my chin up and doesn't look nice. I recommend you to put always the chin a bit down because it, the features of the face look way much better. And also, you can look straight to the camera, it's a very nice portrait, but you do 45 degrees, just enough to show this eye and a bit of this one. Normally that angle works really well. For this one, I really aim to look straight to the camera and have a bit of shade on this part of my face. And I think it's gonna be even more moody. I love this kind of picture. So let's try again and correct that posture. I love this one so very, like you can see the difference it makes to check step by step every single picture you take. So please first set up the light, then take in the computer what you have to correct and then correct it. And you're gonna need those pictures. You're gonna make them amazing because so many people take pictures and they desperate to make them perfect from the beginning and that never happens. And you're gonna have to shoot a lot but you're gonna get it. So right now, because I love those, I'm gonna do just a few more, just to try different ideas and develop it a bit further, but at least I'm happy already with what I have. So now I'm very happy with the pictures, guys. I love the lighting, everything came back together, but you have to follow these steps, just the technical side, then get creative. But to get creative, you have to start shooting. So please start shooting and you will see how many ideas you're gonna have because when you do one idea, then you check in the computer and you're gonna see other poses you can do or other props you're gonna use. So please just start shooting and if you don't have the equipment I have, which is quite cheap anyway, you have the links below in the description, just use alternatives. Not tether cable, you don't need to. Just take in the screen. When you are shooting, take in the screen. How it's coming out. If you don't have a remote control, which is 30 quid, no more than that anyway, uh, you can just use self-timer. I used to use the timer all the time and it's a pain in the ass, but you can still use it if you don't have a budget. So you can do these pictures right now in your house. If you don't have a tripod, use furniture, use access of drawers, use anything. So you can make it happen because I did. And now after years and now because I'm a professional photographer, I got the money to buy the equipment. So don't be discouraged about the equipment because it will come. Just keep practicing. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. This is literally the step-by-step -step I follow for all my self-portrait projects. 
If you don't have the equipment, don't worry because you can use alternatives, as I told you before. You can use furniture as a tripod, you can use a self-timer instead of remote control. And if you don't have the tether cable, doesn't matter. You can still take in the screen of the camera while you are shooting how everything is coming out. So don't worry about it. But you wanna check out to my equipment. It's quite affordable as well, so don't worry about it. You have all the links below. If you have any doubt, please comment. I would be very happy to help. Share your Instagram. I would love to see your work as well. And please subscribe, obviously, if you like photography, and I will see you next week.